What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to N1800, we're back here in the Arctic, in fact we are on Ryland right now, one of our, oh, our main island that is, so here we're going to have our main city that is for the Arctic, we don't know what else lurks here in the dark, so so far we do have two quests, so Kumak and the Inuit and a settlement on King William Island, so those things is... Uh, those are the things that we need to do right now. Let's have a look there as well on our newspaper. Minus 30% consumption, minus 10% consumption, and plus 15 happiness. Keeping my people happy there. We can use all the influence that we need, really. It doesn't matter. Now, we do have three, four um, cargo ships, five cargo ships, in fact, here in the port because we do have lots of coal here as well. Now, we do need the coal because if you remember, well, I do need to import quite a lot of coal here to Ryland um, to get that achievement that I want. And yes, some of you were asking if you still get achievements when you have mods enabled. Yes, you can still get these achievements, so you don't need an extra mod for that. Um, you just, you know, get the achievements like you would in a normal playthrough as well. So that's it. Um, here we go now for our first town. Nope, sorry, no banter. Unfortunately, I don't want anything with that. And in that case here, let's have a look. We do need a canteen, a settlement. So it's time to set up camp in the Arctic. As per usual, the first step is to provide some housing for the explorers and a canteen for them to warm up between shifts. Righto, let's do that. So here we get our first settlement. Um, wait a second, what we need here? Do we have enough space there for the ocean? Here we can have the heater, as you can see, charcoal kiln. Now that is something I definitely should not build right now, otherwise the achievement is gone. And then we have the heater here. Now the heater is very important. It needs coal and it provides then some heating for my population, for my people living here. So in this case here, I want to start with two heaters on that side here. And we're just going to see how many um, people I can actually put in there. Let's have a blueprinted mode for our first explorers that we have here. There's the first block. Then we can squeeze in some more here. And we can do the same thing up here, actually. Let's have a look. Perhaps we can move this around there. Like so. So there's a very tight area only that is activated with this. Look at that. So those people here will not have any heat. So in that case, we need to move it a bit. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Let's have a look. Now we have all of them. And then I can use those guys here as well for my heating. Just here. So this is fine. And we do need a canteen. Now, a canteen has, fortunately, a bigger area of effect, as we can see. It's a nice building. And I really love the, the vibe that you get from this Arctic settlement here. There we have a few more. Let's have a look. Another house here. Another block of houses here. And then those guys here probably won't have any heating then at all let's have a look there we can go for them those poor souls here let's see we should oh yeah we do get a post office or something like that later here so i'm going to reserve the space for that and we're just going to have a building here so that's fine here we can have more let's go with them so let's go with yeah a block of four each time so we don't need the big blocks there and let's have a look how much heating we can get out of this one here if we squeeze everything in, as we can see here, those people will not have heating. So that's fine, because there we have another heater coming up already. And let's just see how this would work. Very good. All of them would have heating now. And here we can squeeze in then even more. Same point for this poor soul here. He will have the hottest place on this island there. And I say poor soul, because I hate to sweat. And I certainly wouldn't want to live near the heater. Now here, let's see, mm, let's have a few more buildings here. Oh, we can squeeze in quite a lot, quite a lot of those guys here. There we have another one going over here. Very nice, and here as well, we can squeeze in lots of people. They all have heating, very nice. They only need to touch it by one, by one tile there, so that's fine. As we can see, we do have the pipes um, showcasing us that there is, in fact, heating. And up here... I want to squeeze in one more, one more, probably this one here too. Yes, as we can see, the pipes, we do get the heating here as well. And the same thing goes for those people here and this one here. And I think that's it for now. Nope, we can still squeeze in some people here. Right, so quite the settlement that we have there. We, we reserve a bit of space. Here we can actually have a few more and that's it. So build a canteen and upgrade them as well. Oh, let's build the explorer sheds, that is. There's the canteen. 
The heaters already work. This one here, as we can see, gets the coal now from the warehouse. <laughs> Santa Claus is delivering some coal here for our heater. And then the heaters already work. We can see that because, yeah, there is some fire. But there's no one living here right now, so let's change that as well. And there we have them. And mission exploration has started with that. Sustained heat of 100%. Build a charcoal kiln. Now, that is a bit strange there. Um, I don't know why I built a charcoal kiln. The quest says that. Let's build this, but let's not produce anything out of it. I hope I get the achievement still, right? That's it. Let's get rid of the building again. So we still have the quest here. We still need to sustain the heat there and find the Inuit by studying Sir John's log. Now, we do need to find the Inuit. There's someone on the map. Um, I do have a few ships here available and I'm just going to send them now around here for some scouting. Right, so four ships. They're all in different directions. Hopefully they can sustain the heat that is... Ah, uh, the cold that is out here. Now the next one, fighting the cold, build lumberjack hut and a sawmill. For that, let's have a look around here, all the way up there. Yeah, we're probably going to have some production over there. Though I don't want to have too much production here on the, on the main island because this is kind of like our main city that is. We could either have it this one here or actually perhaps there is another island with more building space. Doesn't look like there is much building space here. Then we need a warehouse as always. And then let's build, yeah, one. Here he's got 100%. This one got 100% and 15 seconds. So we do have Game full connection here now. So let's build them. And that is then another quest that is fulfilled. Very nice. Um, By the way, I can unload more stuff here, especially more that and as we can see yep as we can see here those buildings here now so the lumberjack hut and our sawmill well they do need heating themselves so we do need to build a heater for them as well and i'm going to build that heater over here because there are going to be more production chains here then and they do need some heating there as well that's it and as we can see pipes are on the way and now once this one has coal they should be able to start with the heating process now here let's have a look around here in first person mode real quick it is looking frosty on this day snow is piling up but our people should be happy they're in their little wooden huts fighting the cold beautiful I, I i especially love how the mountains look they look really realistic beautiful beautiful textures there not so much on the buildings though but the mountains still look nice. And this is a nice sunny beach here. <laughs> no sand, unfortunately, but we do get some stone here occasionally. We can even see another island over there. Look at that. We have discovered it, so we should see it on the map then. And there is one of our Great Eastern's beautiful ship here in the ocean. Yeah, you have to look at decoration there sometimes too. You know, practicality is important, but having but beautiful ships with lots of ornaments is important as well. Now, look at that, guys. Whoa! The Admiral has settled in the New World. So I've um, cleaned up some islands there. And he took quite some time. But he is finally in the New World. The, or not in the New World. Well, that is his first island. I was already wondering that he would be bugged as well. But the Admiral just found himself a new home. So he is settling after all. Look at that. We have him here. And he is still Carl Leonard von Malching. He's still pretty, well, he's the, the idiot. But the Admiral has settled, and I'm extremely happy about that. I was already worried that we would have only backed out NPCs from now on. But nope, now we have Hugo, we have Bente, and we have the Admiral. All three of them are now active in this game. So once he settled on this one here, he has settled now. And I'm eager that he settles then on other islands in the old world. Because look at that, we got lots of free islands here. Right now, I've given them up for those NPCs. The thing is, um, Hugo has settled on a few of them. And I hope he's not going to settle on too many more. Banta has settled there on another island. So that's that. All right, we do have... Oh, a legendary one. Dr. Maurice Slim, former head of Promise Trust. Affects hospitals by plus one doctor and expedition bonus medicine and forced and the trade hyp hypnotist. 
very good. I haven't seen him yet. So in that case, we have him. Um, we do have some ships here. Do we have? Mm, let's see. Do we have? Do we have? Do we have a battle cruiser here? We should have a battle cruiser here. Nope, we don't have a battle cruiser here. All right, um, fine. But I would really like to do some expeditions there for Botanical Garden. There we have a two star, and for Botanical Garden, a normal ship should be fine. Cape Trelawney, and we're going with Turmoil Two. Let's have a look. We do have quite some items here that we can use on that. That's good for diplomacy. The white flag, military ship. We're not. This one here is more diplomacy. Let's have a look. Crafting and the morale boost, of course, is the important factor here. There is some medicine. Dinosaur. Hunting. Diplomacy. All have diplomacy. We could even use a treasure hunt map here for navigation. Okay, no item here seems to go with the faith, so we do need to get the faith ourselves. And bread is usually a good idea to go with the, the faith there. And rations as well. And some medicine and we are at 100% let's start the expedition that is one um, and then we have the archaeological one let's assign let's another ship on that Cape Trelawney place. and we're going with do we have yeah oh no this one actually has oh yeah very good we can use those items there right away they're checked now and diplomacy there I should just watch out that I'm not using items that have been assigned now on on the other expedition there we have something Right, and that's actually it. That's fine. These are only two-star expeditions, so we don't need to go over the board there with, um, you know, assigning goods and stuff like that. Now, back in the Arctic, how is our Ryland looking? Fine so far. Um, Quest-wise, find the Inuit. And as we can see now down here, we are discovering more. There we have found the permanent ice, so there is no way of continuing, though we have found a plateau. Up here. So on this plateau, we cannot settle with a normal island uh, with normal people, but we can only settle here with an airship then. So our goal here in the Arctic right now is to build a monument, um, of course, beside finding Sir John. May and well oh, and very good. The first expedition is on its way. And we do need to, well, settle here for gas supplies because that's what we have here the gas deposits. And we need to get them because they're better than oil. You get more out of them here and they can be delivered then to gas power stations in Cape Trelawney. That is something we need to do. Then we have found another normal island where we can settle. We got some fertility here. So caribou, whale, bear and fur. We don't have the bear. Oh, we do have the bear in Ryland actually. But what I can see is that there is not a big island around. There is still something over there that looks like a big island. So let's get over there. Right, there we have one, there we have one. Actually, let's send it over there. This one has found permanent ice. We should continue down here. I remember that the Inuit was somewhere here in this area. So we are going to continue in this direction. Hmm, let's see. Still something here? Nope, this is looking rather fine then. Here we cannot continue, so this is permanent ice now. So we can continue though into that one here. There we found another plateau with lots of gas deposits. That's good to know. All right, and let's upgrade the next people there or let's let them live here. So it's getting quite cramped here now. We have now 148 explorers here and yeah, canteen. That is one of the things here. And next up would be the pemmican, so that is the food they need. That is our first production here. Now for the coal, let's have a look at that as well. It's empty. How much coal do we now consume here? Can we see that? Minus six. All right, because I do want now a ship. Can we build depots here? We cannot even build depots here yet. So for now, I need to use my ships as depots. Of course, I'm manually unloading here the coal from time to time. And the next expedition is on its way. Very good. And let's go with the caribou. Now here we do need the whaling station. One minute. Everything takes one minute. Very good. That's easy to scale then. And that regard here, the whaling station. Why can't we? Oh, we cannot. We can't build it. So two of them, and once again, they do need heating themselves. But that shouldn't be a problem. I hope, at least. Oh, it is a problem. 
Oh no, very good. This one here was working. Right, so that we have those caribou huntings and look at them. That is rather bleak. Hunting the whales here for the whale oil. And that is one thing. And the other one is the caribou hunting cabin. Now that is something we can only do in the forests. We do have some heating here. So I want to use that heating here already for the caribou hunting. That we can have one. And... There we can have one. So we can have three actually. That is fine. We can upgrade the warehouse there. Once I unload some bricks. I haven't unloaded okay. bricks yet. Bit surprised there. Oh, I have. And look at that. Hugo buys shares from Bente. So they are starting... Oh, he could start a hostile takeover now on Bente. Okay, I cannot upgrade the warehouse yet. I need to reach the next stage for... Of my people there, I guess. And there we found the Inuits. Find the Inuit. I think we need to sail there. And there we have found our trader in the Arctic. He's selling us some fur, some caribou, and above all, nice items that we can use for the Sioux Botanical Garden. And the museum. The non-aggression pact has ended. More than ready. So let's just discover that real quick here and see what happens then. And in Ryland, meantime, I can expand my settlement up here. Oh. I will show you where those men went. He will show me where the man went. All right. Let's begin the trail. I hope my ship of the line can follow. So we're going to escort this one now. There's the Inuit. And he's showing us where... Sir John went with his expedition there. Game I hope my ship of the line can follow though. Meanwhile, we can continue. So we should be having then the pemmican or well, the food. We do need the pemmican cookhouse for that though, before we can do anything here. So I'm not going to waste um, my warehouse with that or I'm going, not going to strain my warehouse with that. In fact, we're going to have another warehouse then here. We do need another heater. So this is can this can be our industry area for the Arctic, and then we have the cookhouses there. And I do need three cookhouses. And yes, as we can see, explorer workforce is going down, and I haven't even touched um, the coal production here. You know, the charcoal kilns. So I'm not even wasting any workforce there. So we really do need more people living here. This is the next spot for that. First of all, we do need another heater again. And then I can place a few more explorers here. And here. Let's squeeze in two more here. That looks fine to me. Let's build some roads here. And then on that side too, we do need another canteen. So we have one here. I'm going to have another one then here. And we do need to leave some place then as well for the post office and stuff like that. Right, let's see how many I can squeeze in there. That's fine. Oh, no, we do need a street connection in between. That's that. And now we can add some more buildings here then. Oh, in that case, they won't be having heating there though. Need to be careful. I will probably have then another heater over there. And those guys here. Um, We do need some timber there again. Hi. One of my ships should have the timber. There it is. And then I can build the heater at least. There's the warehouse. That's fine. Now we can see where the heat goes. So this one's not working yet. This one here. This one. Right, so everything within... That area here. You reach a new milestone. And we are at camp now. New city status of oh, camp. Well, Very good. I don't have that much timber here anymore. Nope. Definitely need to continue unloading the coal there. It's going down. Let's get those guys away from here for now. Are we still following? We're still following. Alright, very slowly through the packed ice here. 
Oh, this is looking bleak. If we get stuck here now, the ship is lost. And I hope the crew knows that. But boy, does it look beautiful. And there's even some heating there. So hopefully those people have it warm. And they're still continuing now on the track here. Hopefully we'll find something. Though I have my doubts. Now down here, what I can see is we do have a quest of our explorers. My family will be celebrating a photography quest. Homesick. The explorer's dear little brother is turning 11. She has never once missed the celebration before, so she asked you to take a picture of her family to help her cope with the homesickness. Right. Of the family alone, right? Of them? Right from the front? Oh! I've lost them. There they are. Hmm, but it isn't working. Photo photograph birth this celebration. Well, this is the birthday celebration, right? Alright, they're celebrating at a pop in the old world. So we actually do need to get back to the old world. And then I guess here in Sleepy Hollow, there it is. There is the birthday celebration. Now that's a nice one. Taking the photo here then. Should be possible. There it is. Very nice. And then we can submit the photo and, well, probably get something out of it. In the new world, I just wanted to look at the Admiral. He's continued building. The only problem here that I can see with the Admiral is that he's got the same color as me again. It's going to be confusing if we have war. Um, we do get a mate here, expedition bonus, navigation force, nothing too serious. A normal common item, that is. We are oh, it's getting narrow here now. As we continue through the packed ice. And while we wait for that, we can continue building our town here. Let's see. We can still have some more houses here. We can have that one, that block here. Those guys here. Oh, that's a, that's a pity there. Are starting to get sick. And those guys. Oh, and the quest seems to be finished. Alright, so there is some ice now blocking the path here. The Hades and sticks came this way. If it takes our last breath, we must find them. Here's something more. Alright, very we nice. Thank you, 75,000 credits. As a little present. And yeah, it takes our best it'll take our best effort to cut through that. And then we get a quest for that, the Ice Brigade. So Thick Ice has frozen the channel to the Lost Expedition. Lady Faithful has given you funds to equip a crack team of explorers so they can blast a way through it. We do need to sustain across the region 80% of pemmican supply and we do have that already. And oh, the Arctic Flu is here. So that is something, as we can see, we have unlocked new buildings here now. And with that, well, we get the next ride incident which is the flu so that we have the ranger station that's this building here and lucky we have saved some space there so we can build it right away ranger station that is our well hospital more or less our doctor and we should probably have another one then over here too so this one here how far goes it oh actually it takes all of it into account very nice so we only need one so we can actually have then the post station here um that we'll need then later And we have supplied now pemmican, so we have the first need fulfilled, and the next one would be the oil lamp then right away. So that is the new production here. And as we can see, for the oil lamp, we do need the whaling station, but we do need brass. Now, brass is something we don't produce or we can't produce in the Arctic, so that is our first trade rod that we're going to have from Cape Trelawney. And what I know is that in Cape Trelawney, we should be pretty much capped with the brass. Yes, we are. So in that case, I'm going to have one trade rod. And that one trade route is going to deliver two goods there. So we have Crown Falls and we have in the Arctic our first element Ryland. And here we're going to then take coal. I guess in... Oh, and a pirate hunt. I would like to do that. Let's take 100 tons of coal. Let's take 150 tons of coal. And 
Um, then we have the brass. And I guess we don't need that much brass, but still. And for now we have to use the... Oh, wait a second. We could... could can we not purchase airships here? Yes, we can actually purchase airships here. Oh no, we cannot do that yet. Cannot, uh, cannot be sold yet because we still need to uh, build the first one ourselves. So it's a bit limited there. So we cannot cheat our way through that. Something I don't want to anyway. So let's go with the trade route. And in the Arctic we take Ryland. And let's go with 150 tons of brass and 150 tons of... No, wait a second. Let's just take brass itself. You know, let's just cap it full with brass. Um, it's going to be then on the ship anyway if it's too much. It's going to sort itself out there. And then we do need a ship. So let's go back Cape Trelawney. Let's take one that is available. What I can see is here we have... Ship constructed. The wild thing too. <laughs> let's take the wild thing. That's the ship for the brass. And then we're going to ca uh, create a trade route for Crown Falls and Arctic with the coal. That's the other thing. Who says anything about execution, your grace? Whoops. Okay. Strange behavior. And Trumpet Fish now is on that trade route. Whoops. And before he leaves for the old Can world or for Cape ready. Trelawney, we should definitely unload a bit of coal there. We can upgrade the trading post to a medium one. Can I do that with the other ones now too? Yes, I could now upgrade all my trade posts, in fact. And that, of course, means I can now unload more. So let's have him continue on the trade route there. We still have the Arctic flu. Well, part of the problem here is that when the coal runs out, people get frozen, you know. And then, of course, they get the Arctic flu. In that case, that's something. And what I can see is we do have a fire here. All right. How can I fight the fire? The ranger station fights fire and Arctic flu. All right. So it's both of it here, the ranger station that we have. So we should probably get a second one. If we have both catastrophes happening at the same time, like now. I don't want that only one uh, ranger station is then. But we do have a few problems here right now, what I can see in the Arctic. So we do have some fires here and we do have some Arctic flu. So that's going to be a problem of its own. And meanwhile, we also need to get the oil lamps there. So let's wait for the price and we're doing that in the next episode then. Stay tuned.